What is the most festive item? I don't know. Ho, ho, holy crap, Xander. It's Christmas again. Today we're gonna be ranking the most festive items. You know, it's cheery, we got our tree. We have a unicorn over there with, with lights. We got a popcorn, you know, you get it. It's festive. We're playing a game, Santa. What is that game? Okay, so we're gonna be ranking all of these festive items that we have on a scale of one to five. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. My colleague here explained the majority of it. Yeah. It's yeah. time for Best of the Best. Round one. All right, first up, we have these beauties. I got a wooden snowman over here. Santa, what do you got? I got my beautiful penguin, and I like his mouth and his eyes. They're stupid looking, but I like it. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk it out. Where do you think let's, these go? Let's talk it out indeed. On a scale, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I like my guy. I don't know how I feel about your guy. He looks he looks a little unhappy with He's his He's got life. presence, though. He, do, he does. I mean, yeah. He looks, he looks, <laughs> he looks like he's sad. Yeah. Uh, my guy, on the other hand, he, I like his... He's enjoying life. He really is. He's got that simple little smile with the little curlies at the end, and it looks like a big mustache, and I kind of like it. Oh, uh, okay, so French I'm going to put it at I, a two. At I, I think I got to go with you on this one. Just so We got room to go up, and we have room to go down, but these uh -huh. guys so far are pretty rad. That's a good start. Round two. All right, now we have... A really festive item. I mean, everybody has them in their house. I have, like, four of them upstairs. I have, like, eight. Yeah. All different kinds. They're what are we judging, Sandy? Nutcrackers. Get that boy. Let me grab our festive guy. Just look at him. He's a little... I don't he's know. Great. Is he a prince? I, I think he's, like, Prince of Persia style, like... <laughs> Mm -hmm. And not directly from the movie, but you get my, you're catching my drift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Uh, this is a classic. I, everybody knows Nutcracker. Everybody knows Nutcracker. They're great. They, they, these ones don't because they're ornamental and my mom and my grandma don't like these. Uh-huh. The ones that actually work apparently. Yeah. But I do, I do not eat nuts. I'm not uh -huh. a huge fan of nuts. Yeah. So that takes it down a notch in my, uh -huh. in my, uh -huh. my eyes. I mean, I don't think I've ever used a Nutcracker for its intended purpose. No, I use it to make it talk and sound funny. Yes, uh, that is what the sane person says. Yeah, uh, person. I, I think I think it's gonna gotta go below these guys. Yeah, cause they like come on, he's so cute. Look at the craftsmanship. <laughs> yeah, like know? it's all chipped and he's cute. Yeah, I gotta give it a three. Agreed. I Again, give him more a three because I like his style with his cool cape and like yes, his yes. his beard. But yeah, I think it's a three. Mm -hmm. I agree. Three. Moving on. Three it is. Round three. This one is somewhat of a classic. Most people have them. I personally do not, but most people do have them in their houses, and I find them kind of funny. It yeah. is a advent calendar. Okay, we got this come on, one. grab it. We got a Santa. This is this is one of the ones that uh, doesn't come with like the chocolate, like the the cardboard ones. The cardboard ones I think are better because you know you get Reese's on day five or something. I don't know, but this is that one's how work. Yeah, mm. that's how advent calendars work, Santa. <laughs> So this one, you take the candy cane, put it in the day. It's nice. It's it's good craftsmanship. Uh, it's oh, Santa. You can't. I, I like the. I didn't realize the candy cane went in the things. Oh yeah, that's awesome. You can't go wrong with Santa either. That's pretty I mean. bad. <laughs> so what are you hmm. giving this one? I don't think this is the best festival. I don't. Ever. It's definitely not the best. Like, come on. No. It's not better than the Nutcracker, let alone these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, but but it's up there. It's de it's, it's definitely, definitely top there. five. It's definitely not the bottom. I think it's uh, I say I like his pockets. I say four. I I agree I, because I say four. this is festive, but it's not the best of the best, and that's what we're trying to figure out. That is indeed yeah. what we're trying to do. All right, on to round four. Let's do it. Round four. You can't see a red hat without seeing Santa, let alone Christmas hats. And we, that's what we're going to be ranking this time around, round four. Let's do it. Let me get a, take it off so I can get a good look at mine. You, you have sparkles. I do have sparkles. Mine I mean, is mine's extra long. Yours is very droopy. You're like Ebenezer Scrooge style over there. Yeah, but I feel like it's it's more fitting. It is more for fitting. For the holiday. I like my sparkly one. It's a little uncomfortable. But uh -huh. My head is it's huge. Itchy. It's itchy. It is a little itchy. My they head do, is gigantic. They do get itchy after a while. Yeah. Um... 
To be honest, I kind of want to put this at five. Agreed. It's not... It gets itchy. It's not super practical. This little ball thing kind of dangles in my face. I mean, we're not not saying that you shouldn't wear Santa hats around Christmas. We're not saying, but this is the worst of the top five. Like, come on. It makes the top five. Like, candy canes in your yard is worse than this. (laughs) For sure. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the final round. Round five. Round five. We have... The epitome of Christmas on our list next. Final round. We're getting it big. It's right behind me. No, Santa's not here. I I wish. Yeah, okay. We have the Christmas tree. You can't have Christmas without a Christmas tree. That's just not how it works. It's not okay. It has the name of the holiday. You're a terrible person. It has the name of the holiday. In it. In it. I mean, you can't go I like ours because it's silver and we got like... Cool, like R2-D2. Got, yeah, R2-D2. Yeah, little dude. snow guy. I'm loving the sign. I, I do like the sign. Yeah. Uh, he reminds me of somebody we know. I think this has to go top. I, I think it does. It's just, it's so classic. It's so practical. The only thing I don't like about it is the needles. But even then, it's still okay. It's kind of nice. It smells nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, again, you can't have Christmas without a Christmas tree. This deserves to be top. It really does. Like, it's so decorative. You get to put your own flair into it. I like it. Plus, you get presents under it. You on do. Christmas? You even had that calendar over there. Yeah. This is the sole Christmas decoration. This is what how Christmas started. Not really. It is. But this is Yeah. This is this is like when you think of Christmas, what's the first thing you think of? Snow? No. Santa? Sure. Once in a while. A Christmas tree? Of course. Beautiful, big, bubbling tree. Look at all these things, these yeah. baubles. I love them. What do you put up first in your house? The tree, obviously. Who puts up lights like a garland first? God. Yeah, like what are you doing? So I think that's it. It's tree. It's the tree wins. The tree. It's obviously the tree. Our final rankings. The winner, the Christmas tree. Coming in second, we have these. These cute little statue the guys. statues. I love these things. I really do. I'm so glad that we have these. Yes. I found these. Number three, the oh, nutcracker up there. Number four is our cute little item in a Santa. Look I at noticed the while we were sitting here that his little belt buckle is a day as well. I didn't realize it's Christmas. That. It's Christmas. It's and then we're not bashing them here, but Come last on. on our list the hats. The hats. It's, it's just bad. They're festive, <laughs> but just not festive enough. They're not good enough to beat out yeah. an advent calendar. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Explosive Show. We'll catch you next time. When we think about our Fantastic Beast theories, spoiler warning on that video, by the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later. I'm Ethan. I'm Xander. Goodbye. Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? It's Ethan here. And Xander. And we're just reminding you to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. Also, hit that like button, comment down below, and all that good jing jangling stuff. Yeah, for new episodes of the Explosive Show every week. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Goodbye. Check, 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 check it out.